Good day, everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you okay, how to uh, deploy okay, or publish okay, your uh, ASP.NET web app okay, to the uh, smart ASP.NET okay, website, okay? But then uh, the video okay, will be a, a, a pretty long. Okay? So in this video, I'm going to show you only how to uh, deploy okay, your database okay, to uh, okay, the uh, uh, remote site okay, is for okay. How to deploy your app? Okay, uh, please. Okay, uh, you can uh, find other people's okay, video or my video. Okay, to see how to do that. Okay, yeah. Uh, if I combine both of them, the video will be really, really long. Okay, yeah. So again, okay, if this is what you are looking for, uh, uh, okay, please okay, uh, watch the video. Otherwise. Uh, do something else okay, or spend some time with your family, okay? Yeah, all right, okay. Step one, okay, will ask you to uh, create okay, a backup database, okay? Uh, that is the nature of the uh, uh, the way the uh, uh, smart ASP.NET website okay, uh, allow you to uh, upload okay, your uh, backup database, okay? So here will be the command okay, to do it, okay? Yeah, so let me quickly okay, show you how to do that, okay? Yeah. So again, okay, assume that okay, I have this okay, uh, web app okay, with this uh, database, okay, uh, A00 student DB, okay, and then the uh, table will be the student table uh, contain only three columns, pretty simple one. And then again, assume that uh, uh, you have one created already, okay, and then okay, uh, let me create just one more entry. Okay, let me call it the Duran user. And then, uh, okay, let's say, okay, uh, uh, Smith, okay, yeah, and then create, okay, there you go, okay, so you can see that, okay, uh, the app works just fine, you can create, delete, okay, uh, display, okay, uh, show the detail, okay, no problem, update, okay, all right, so I'm going, going to do the uh, step one here, okay, yeah, so step one will be, get okay, all those, okay, command, okay, yeah, to create, okay, uh, uh, backup database, okay, yeah, which get okay, your uh, regular database. So this is my regular database. So I'm going to select this database, okay, and then right-click the mouse button and pick new query, okay. Then I'm going to uh, copy and paste. Uh, feel free to uh, follow the uh, the uh, the setting here, okay, if you want to. But then I'm going to put the uh, the uh, database, okay, uh, to uh, my G drive, okay, yeah. Okay, G temp, and then I might want to name it as uh, A00, okay, student, okay, yeah. Uh, DB, you, you can pick any name you like, okay? Yeah, but make sure that the file extension end up with okay, uh, WAK, okay? Yeah, and then this will be uh, the data base, okay, I want to uh, convert it to the uh, backup, okay? So I have so many database. But for the app, I just showed it to you. Okay, you work with okay, my uh, local database with this name. Okay, all right. Okay, so once it's done, it okay. And then uh, before I run it, let me show you uh, my G drive under temp. Okay, there's no okay this uh, backup database being created yet. Okay, yeah. So let me highlight it and then click the uh, SQ. Get okay, this triangle sign. Okay. Uh, in a minute, you will show me okay, uh, everything is successful. Okay, good news, and then I can double check it. There you go. Okay, so the database okay, uh, uh, has a backup created already. Okay, yeah. So let me minimize this one. Okay, yeah. And then okay, we have done. Okay, I have done step one already. Okay, right. And then sign to okay. Uh, let's say okay. Uh, okay, you all speed uh, done an account. Okay, so I. Actually, I have done it already. Okay, so let me show you my setting here. So just sign into this account, okay, and then there you go. Okay, so it will bring you okay, to this okay, kind of the basic account mode. Okay, then okay, uh, let me go back here. Okay, then okay, I'll go to step three. Okay, yeah, click the uh, control panel. Okay. Let me see whether I can show you side by side. Yeah, so this is the control panel, right? This is the control panel. So you can step three, click the uh, control panel. So let me click that one. 
and then it will bring me to get the uh, website information here. Okay, yeah. So let me go back to the next step. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, okay, uh, upload my database. Okay. Upload my database. Okay. So I'm going to click the uh, database okay, drop down okay, and then pick uh, my uh, pick the Microsoft SQL database. Okay. So this will be okay. Uh, Okay, uh, let me see. Yeah, this is the database. Okay, so, so click this one. Okay, and then pick the uh, MySQL okay, uh, database. Okay, yeah, that is the database I use. Use the uh, Visual Studio. Okay, uh, 2019. Okay, uh, community community collection. Uh, addition to create one. So I have some database created already, okay, but then uh, I'm going to delete it okay, for it, again okay, for this demonstration purpose. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to delete it. So assume that okay, uh, you do, I have nothing. Okay, yeah. So you can see now I have nothing. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to okay, uh, add a assume I'm going to add a brand new database. Okay, yeah. And I'm using the free account, okay? So they, I believe they only allow me to create one database. So you can see that they have picked some name for me already. And then for this one, you can pick whatever name you like, okay? Yeah, so I pick kind of pick my login name and then set the password, okay? I'm not going to take the password, okay? And then click Submit. So in a minute, okay, uh, they will create a okay, uh, database, okay, and then okay, we okay, uh, the prefix name they pick for me, okay? Yeah, and then over this okay, remote site, okay? Uh, I mean, run by them, okay, right? All right, okay, so okay, uh, let's get back to the note here, okay? So okay, again, okay, uh, I have done step four, step five, okay? Uh, I've done step four and then also step five already, okay? And then I've done step six, okay? I pick a name, okay? I pick okay, a password. And I click the submit button, so it show me the uh, the uh, database okay, name, okay, and then also the remote site information. So far, so good. So now, okay, I'm going to get okay, uh, upload my database. Okay, so I have to select okay, this so-called restore database icon. Okay, so where it is? Okay, so actually, I uh, believe it's here. Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, restore database icon. Click on it. And then okay, uh, now okay, I have to okay, uh, let me move this side the side here, to the side here. So we can see the step eight, get okay, choose, okay, click the choose file button, and then select get your uh backup backup database. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to click choose get okay, file. Okay. And then okay, uh, I put my uh, backup file okay, over G drive under the temp directory. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to click open, okay. And then make sure, okay, next step, okay, you click the upload, okay, yeah. Step nine, upload, okay, yeah. Uh, it depends on the speed of your internet connection, okay. Mine is a little bit slow, so take a while, no big deal, okay, yeah, even for a small file, it's fine. Okay, so, okay, I almost got to the 100% cent. There you go. So next step okay, uh, will be, I okay, uh, have to get okay, one more, okay? Yeah, you upload it, but then you have to click the restore, okay? Yeah, so step 9B, you wanna call it, let me click the restore, okay? Yeah, so okay, it's restoring, okay? Yeah, so far so good, okay, so far so good. I mean, you can do a quick check-in okay, by using the uh, okay, uh, web connect if you want to, okay? But then uh, I will get to that later, okay? Yeah. So, so far so good, okay. Yeah, let me minimize this one. Yeah, so okay, uh, you can see that yeah, uh, I've done okay, uh, step nine already. Okay, and then now I'm going to get the connection string, okay. Yeah, so okay, let me get back to the, uh, the uh, web page here, okay, yeah. So I'm going to get the connection string, okay, which will be this one, okay. So click on it, then you can see that it depends on your uh, web app, okay? But then I'm running the sp.net, okay? So the whole connection string is pretty long, okay? Yeah. 
Uh, feel free to spend time to read it okay, if you want to, okay? But then I will just copy the whole thing, okay? Yeah, and control C, okay, and then close this one, okay? Yeah. Then I'm going to switch back to my uh, local app, okay? Yeah, uh, by the way, you can click, I can cl close this one. I don't need to use it, okay? Yeah, uh, no need to save it, yeah. Okay, then I'm going to go to my uh, app, okay? Uh, settings, get okay, that JSON file. Let me zoom in, there you go. Yeah, so this is the file, okay, yeah. So I'm going to go in there, okay. And then okay, uh, I believe that uh, okay, if you follow the convention okay, of creating the database, okay, so this uh, connection string okay, shows okay, uh, all the settings okay, uh, related to okay, uh, this, okay, uh, in my case, this okay, A00 student uh, database, okay. But then uh, again, okay, uh, in order to Okay, I'll let you see better, okay? So I'm going to uh, kind of do a little bit copy and paste okay, here, okay? Yeah, so let me try this, okay? So let me remember to put a comma, okay? Put a comma, yeah, and then paste, okay? Yeah, and then okay, this will be my original, okay? It's just my personal style, that's all, okay? Yeah, my original, okay? And then this will be the original, okay? Yeah, and then now I'm going to switch back to the uh, smart website, okay? And then get, uh, copy the connection string again, okay? My apology, okay? Uh, I mean, a little bit redundancy, okay? Yeah, so I'm going to copy it, okay? Close this one, switch back to my local app, okay? And then I'm going to replace the whole okay, setting here, okay, yeah. So I'm going to replace okay, this one with the one I just copied okay, from the uh, uh, the the uh, uh, smart SP tunnel website, okay, yeah. So make sure you have this okay, double code, okay, yeah. This will be the end, okay, yeah. And then you can see that okay, uh, it needs you to put your uh, password there, okay? Yeah, put your password there. I'm not going to type it in, okay? Yeah. Okay, I mean, this this video will go to the uh, YouTube, okay, uh, for public to watch, okay? But then if you read it, okay, then you can see that, okay, actually, uh, this one is the setting to connect to, okay, uh, the uh, remote database, okay? So that's why, Okay, from the picture here, okay, then you can see that okay, a moment ago, okay, uh, after we done step nine, okay, actually, okay, I have uh, kind of uploaded okay, a copy of my local database to the remote database server, okay, hosted by uh, SmartSP.net already. Okay, but then now I try to run my local okay, app, okay, but then it will connect to the uh, remote database, okay, yeah, remote database, okay, so that is the idea, okay, yeah, so I'm going to pause the video, okay, pause the video for a sec, because I need to type in the, uh, the password, okay, yeah, okay, bear with me, okay, and I will be uh, back, okay, just, uh, just in a second, okay, yeah. Okay, I have typed in my password already. Okay, so let me save the file. Okay, and then uh, for me, I usually okay, kind of you know, uh, build it, okay, kind of compile it to make sure everything is fine. Okay, yeah. Okay, just wait. Okay, yeah. But I believe everything, everything should be fine. Yeah. Okay, one succeeded. And then now let me just uh, run the uh, the the app, okay. but remember, okay, the database okay, will be uh, using the one at the remote site, okay? Yeah, remote, okay, uh, uh, site host by the uh, smart okay, SP.net, okay, yeah. So again, I mean, I can just quickly create one, okay, one more 
a uh, username, okay, maybe okay, let's say uh, Ben, okay, yeah, and then Alan, okay, and then create, okay. So you can see that okay, uh, actually the information got sent to the remote site, okay. Yeah, the information got sent to the remote database, okay. Then you say, well, how do you know that, right? Okay, how do you know that? So, okay, uh, sorry, let me move it back. So actually uh, over here, you can uh, modify it, okay? Yeah, by uh, clicking the uh, web connect, I'm going to show it to you, okay, yeah. So let me go back to the, uh, the remote okay, website, okay, yeah, it will be here. And then I'm going to click this, okay, uh, more icon here. Then you can see that from the pop-up, Okay, uh, it shows okay, there is a web connection, but oh, of course, I uh, make sure that you select okay, the uh, database tab. Okay, then you can you can have this option here. So let me click the web connect. Okay, and then okay, uh, you can see that okay, uh, this is the remote okay, uh, servers IP and remote servers okay, URL, and then there is the database. Okay, I picked moment ago. Okay, with prefix. Pick by them, and then they see uh, the uh, suffix pick by me, you know, right? and then that is my username, and then it will be my password, okay? Yeah. You have to type in the password, okay? Otherwise, it won't allow you to connect, okay? Then let me click connect. There you go, so far so good. So this is my uh, database, okay? Let me expand it, okay? There you go, this is my table, okay? Yeah. So the student table, then you can see that there are four entries over there. Okay, I can view the data. Okay, and then uh, you can see that uh, Ben Allen okay, is the one I just uh, added into okay, uh, to it a moment ago. And from the URL, okay, you can tell that okay, uh, it is okay, the uh, okay, uh, remote database. Okay, yeah. So I believe that uh, that is all I wanted to okay, uh, show it to you. Okay, again, I hope that, that this is useful to you. Okay, so once okay, you have okay, uh, run your local app and test okay, uh, the app, everything is fine. Okay, yeah. And then you can uh, just, okay, uh, I believe you can pick whatever person's video okay, about how to uh, deploy okay, or publish okay, your web app okay, to the uh, small smart KSP Tandem okay, website. Okay, yeah. you really don't need to watch my video if you don't want to. Okay, yeah. And then uh, the note I put over here is that okay, uh, there's in that case there's no need to deploy the database. Okay, since you have done it. Okay, or a moment ago I've showed you I've done it already. Okay, so I, all I need to do is just okay, kind of okay, deploy. Okay. Uh, okay deploy all my web file over here, okay? Yeah, that's all, okay, that's all. Yeah, so again, the video is, uh, might be a bit long already, okay? So feel free to pick uh, my or someone else, okay? Uh, deploy video, okay, uh, to deploy okay, your uh, web app, okay? And I guarantee you that, okay, uh, everything will run just fine, okay? Yeah, okay, so, okay, done, okay? Uh, and uh, uh, enjoy the uh, web app, okay, with the uh, database, okay? Yeah, so let me uh, stop the recording now, yep.